Hello again, Vicki Hefner, Education Curator at the Berks History Center, and I'm standing next to one of my favorite objects in the entire collection, our Conestoga wagon. Conestoga wagons were the tractor trailers of the 1700s. So imagine those 18 wheelers we see on the highways today, these are those 18 wheelers. Conestoga wagons were invented in Lancaster County, our neighbor, and they were only ever used to move things. They moved heavy things like bricks, barrels of wheat or flour, lumber. This particular wagon is especially important because it was used at the Ole Iron Furnace to transport charcoal. When an artifact, the more information we have about an artifact makes it so much more important. And the fact that we know the provenance of this wagon, what it was used for, exactly where it was used, makes it really significant. You'll also notice that it has red wheels, a blue body, and a white top. These wagons were used about the time of the American Revolution, so they were patriotic, and they painted them red, white, and blue, the same colors of our American flag. You'll notice that it has a concave body, which means it, the weight is in the center of the body, the concave body, so that when you're going up a hill or down a hill, your heavy load doesn't shift to the front or the back. There's also a large wheel in the back and a smaller wheel in the front. That construction is so that um, when you're traveling on pretty terrible roads, of course they hadn't, did not have roads like us, and especially after the winter thaw, there'd be a foot or more of mud that uh, the horses had to pull this heavy load through. So the, the, the construction of the big wheel in the back and the little wheel in the front would help pull it through. And it would take six or eight really strong horses to pull these wagons. And they would usually travel 15 to 20 or more miles a day. If we could peek inside the wagon, you will not find a seat for the wagon driver. Wagon drivers were very proud and they felt that if their horses had to carry this heavy load, that they would not put more weight on the wagon. So they would walk, walk alongside the team. There was a thing though called a lazy board that could fit underneath the wagon and the, the driver could stand on it. But its name, lazy board, said exactly what that driver was, was doing and they didn't want to be seen using a lazy board. So how often they were used, I don't know. But again, uh, this is a wonderful artifact. And I'd just like to finish by saying uh, one of the best things about my job is when I'm bringing a group of children down the stairs and they peek over the railing and they see this ginormous wagon in our basement. And the oohs and the ahs that I get are priceless. <laughs>